Hi guys, today we are going to add the Scringo SDK to our BuzzTouch Android project. Now I'm on the Scringo website here, I'm all logged in, and we're going to look at their getting started instructions for Android. And it says here it'll take less than five minutes, and it is, it is a pretty quick and simple process, and this video should help you out a lot. Now make sure that you register your app, and there's instructions on the Scringo website on how to register your app and get the Scringo app ID. To keep this video short, uh, we won't go through that process, but it's easy to do and you can find it. Now let's jump right in. We need to download the Scringo SDK. So if we click on the Downloads button up here, tab, go to Android, and all we have to do is click on this. Now I've already downloaded it, but you'll just click on this and you'll download it and I've placed it on my uh, desktop here so there's my Scringo folder so getting back to the getting started instructions for Android we downloaded the SDK now we want to add the Scringo SDK to our project so the first step here is the libs folder we need to add some files to this libs folder and add it to our build path and here's how you do it. I'm going to be working in Eclipse and I've got my new Zurich project is the the name of the app that I'm adding the SDK to. And we can see there's already a libs folder here so all we need to do is open the Scringo folder, find this libs folder, open that up and I just like to select them all and drag them into this libs folder. I'll hit OK. And there is a gcm.jar that already exists in there, but we can overwrite it. That's not a problem. We can hit yes to all. And now we see that these four files are in our libs folder. We're going to need to select each one of these new files, these jar files, right click, and then build path, add to build path. And we'll do that for each one of these. I'm just going to go right up the row. Build path, add to build path. GCM, build path, add to build path. And so on. So we've got all four of those done. And that's all we needed to do for that step. Pretty simple. Now we're back on the website for Scringo. And it says here we need to add this Scringo resources folder to our workspace. So here's how you do it. We're back in Eclipse. I'm going to hit File, Import, Existing Projects into Workspace. We'll go to Browse. And I'm already in the Scringo Resources folder, but if it was on my desktop, it would look like this, just to back up a bit for you guys. Here's that Scringo folder. Here's that Scringo Resources folder. Now let's hit Open. And all we want to do is click Finish. And we can see here in Eclipse that this Scringo Resources was added as an extra project. What we want to do now is go to our new Zurich project that we're working in. See how it's highlighted in blue? I'm going to right click, scroll down to Properties, I'm going to hit Add. We're in the Android tab here. Now let's click Add. And we can see here that we can add this Scringo resources as a library. So we're going to select that, hit OK. And we get a little green check so we know that it's referencing as a library there. So I'm going to hit OK. So let's go back to Scringo. Let's look at the next step now. Scringo properties. It says we need to add this file to our Assets folder. So let's go take a look at that. We're back in our Scringo folder. And here's this Scringo's property, dot properties file. And we need to add it to our Assets folder. So I'm going to just drag that in here. Hit OK.
And let's take a look at this file in our project. And here's that Scringo app ID that you'll need. And there's also this Facebook app ID. And you can go to the Scringo website or post on the BuzzTouch forum on how to fill in these fields as well. But I'm going to grab my Scringo app ID really quick from the site here. I'm going to go to My Apps. And here's my little ID here. It's not a working app, so I'm not worried about that ID. But anyway, I've just added that to my assets. So let's move on to the next step. So we, add, we just added this Scringo.properties. Now we need to add this Scringo.manifest. So all we're going to do is go back to our Scringo folder again, and we see the Scringo manifest.txt file. I'm going to click on that and open it up. And all we need to do here is just, I'm just going to select the whole thing and copy into my clipboard all this information. We're going to go to our Android project. Remember, we're working with New Zurich. I'm going to open up the screen, the Android manifest.xml for my New Zurich project that I'm working on currently. And I can just paste. Let me find a good line on here to add it. I'll just add it right here, all the Scringo stuff. Or better yet, let's let's add it under our Buzz Touch activities. So scroll all the way down. You'll see all these list of activity, Android name. These are the different screens that are in your app. But all those files, all this text here that I just copied to my clipboard from the Scringo manifest, I'm going to just paste right here. And that's all we have to do. We just added all those little activities to our manifest. So let's go back to the Scringo website and see what the next step is. So we've added all of our, all of our files. Now we just have to activate the Scringo code. So I'm going to go back to Eclipse. And here's, here's the one of the main things you want to look for. In the source folder, we're going to be adding Scringo to our BT Activity Root Tabs file. So I'm going to close these folders. I'll hit Yes to save changes. These files, yes. So let's open up this BT Activity Root Tabs.java. And this is where we're going to be activating the Scringo code. So let's go to the Scringo site here. I'm going to copy this Scringo property right here. I'm going to go back to our project and in this BT activity root tabs.java file I'm gonna add just above this activity lifecycle events comment here I'm gonna add that Scringo equals new Scringo this and let's actually hover over the uh, red dots here because it's gonna give us a little warning but we can easily fix this. We need to import Scringo. There we go, and it cleared up that area. And you'll see that it imported, it gave us the import command up here as well. So that's important to have in this file. So let's look at our next step here. We need to initiate this thing. So I'll show you to where to add that. Let's copy this, Scringo.init. Let's go back to our Eclipse project, and in the same BT Activity Root Tabs file, in the onCreate method, we're going to scroll down, and we'll just add it right to the end of that method here. That's a good place to put it right there. So let's go back to our Scringo instructions. Now we need to add Scringo to our Start method. Let's scroll down here. We see on start. And I'll just add it in here. So you can see we added 
stringgo.onStart to our onStart method. Now let's go back to our instructions. Looks like here we need to add stringgo on stop. So we can easily do that inside the curly braces. There we go. And actually, let's run this thing right now and see if we can see Scringo. So I'm back in Eclipse. I'm going to hit the Run button. I'll hit Yes that I made changes to our activity. And we can see our app is launching. And here, my app has loaded. It's a very simple, simple menu with a little website and quiz. I haven't really built it yet. But we can see that Scringo ad pop up the top. You can monetize your app and stuff. Very cool. But let's swipe to the side. And ah, we see we have activated Scringo. And all the cool features here. And you can read more about the cool features on the site. But you have a full-on integrated social network inside of your app now. Very, very cool. So hope this helps, guys. We'll talk to you soon.